So welcome everybody. My name is Lisa Marshall. I'm the co-director of Heat Smart Tompkins. That's a new title for me. I've been in that role for um, just about a month. And I'm really happy to welcome all of you. Also on the call, we have um, our two Heat Smart Tompkins clean energy interns, Dana Grover and Nina Pignon. So say hello, ladies. You'll be seeing a lot of them this summer. Um, they're going to be working on various projects to improve our program and make it even better. I also want to introduce Lindsay Spear, who's the uh, um, program director at HeatSmart CNY. Lindsay, why don't you say hello? Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, I work with Alliance for a Green Economy and we're partnered with Central New York Regional Planning and Development Board on the HeatSmart CNY campaign, but we are mostly just trying to live up to the uh, high standards that HeatSmart Tompkins started when they were the original campaign in the state. Thanks, Lizzie. That's very sweet of you to say. Um, so welcome to our water heater webinar. If you have questions about other HeatSmart things such as heating and cooling, or home insulation, we definitely can address those at the end, but we wanted to talk about water heaters um, today. And so I'm going to just go ahead and share my screen and we'll get started. So we are Heat Smart Tompkins, as I said, and our um, we are a nonprofit community-based organization committed to education and outreach. We do not make any money off of anything you may or may not buy as a result of our information sessions. Um, and we like to emphasize the cost savings, the comfort and health, and the climate solutions um, that can be found in home insulation and air sealing and various kinds of heat pumps. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to heat your water with heat pumps. Heat smart in the time of COVID. So we are a community organization, which means we love to go out in the community to churches and libraries and town halls and brew pubs and meet with the public um, on their own turf, but of course we can't do that right now. So um, thank you for joining this webinar. This is one of our ways to reach out. Please make use of our website. Um, we've, we record all these webinars and they're, you can find them there. We have fact sheets, we have all kinds of interesting stuff. And um, we are hope to have virtual home tours posted soon. Um, so you can actually see these systems in place in people's homes. Normally we have real home tours where you come and visit and walk around the house, but we can't do that right now. Um, and very importantly, all of our installers have protocols in place so that they can give you proposals for your house uh, remotely. But now that phase one in central New York and the Southern tier are open, they can also come to your house if that is comfortable for you. This and they put in place protocols for doing that. And if everybody could mute their um, device while we're having the presentation, that helps the audio for all. Okay, so Heat Smart across New York. We are this little purple area, Tompkins County. We are also Shimon County and the, some of the just border areas. Um, but there are now all these wonderful other Heat Smart programs and a lot of you are joining us tonight from Heat Smart Central New York. Um, and but Heat Smart, the idea of Heat Smart started right here in Tompkins County. It was a project of Solar Tompkins. Solar Tompkins ran a big Solarize campaign and it was so successful that um, they decided they didn't really need to run Solarize anymore and they thought about what could what other climate solutions could we help promote um, that would have an even bigger impact. And they came up with the idea for Heat Smart because it seemed like a lot of people really didn't know anything about heat pumps. Um, thus, so Heat Smart Tompkins was formed. Initially, um, the money was raised from local foundations, but now these clean heating and cooling communities or Heat Smart communities are funded through our utility bills um, through NYSERDA, the state agency. So. Um, we're very fortunate now to not have to raise money and scrape by NYSERDA funds our programs. And there are going to be more Heat Smart programs starting this year. I think we're going to go up to 20 programs to serve um, almost all of New York State. So that's very exciting. Okay, so the purpose of this, as I said, is to let us be your guide. We're just here to help you, to be a resource, to hold your hand if you need it, to answer questions if you need it. Studies show that the number one reason people don't install heat pumps is they don't know about them. That includes HVAC installers, as well as the 
um, consumer public, um, homeowners, business owners, building owners. They just don't really know about heat pumps, so they don't put them in. And so we're here to fill that gap because the more people know about them, the more heat pumps are installed, the more it becomes the normal everyday thing that everybody's going to do. And that's what we need to meet our climate and energy goals here in New York State, where heating is a really big piece of um, our energy pie. But um, so we try to make accessible information um, available to you, make sure that there's transparency for cost and quality issues. Not all heat pumps are the same. Some are much higher quality than others. And um, we're just a neutral source to answer your questions or troubleshoot um, anywhere along the process, whether you're first exploring what process, uh, what you want to put in your home, or whether you've already had something installed and you have questions or problems with it, and anything in between. That's what we're here for. So, but today we're here to talk about hot water. So as I said, space heating is a really big chunk of your energy use. Um, these are old numbers, but they're, they're about 10 years old, but they're still uh, about right. 56% of, of New York um, household energy use is for heating, but 17% is for heating hot water. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. And 17% is a pretty big chunk and it adds up over time. Um, you might know that the town of Lansing in Tompkins County is gas constrained and there have been a lot of proposals for how to um, help reduce demand for gas in Lansing and one uh, way that we proposed was just to have 200 people put in heat pump water heaters and that would have solved the gas constraint in Lansing. So uh, heat pump water heaters can be powerful um, and if you're not in a position to or you don't want to change your home heating, um, you can still just change your water heating and, and have a pretty big impact. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is if you are thinking about changing your home heating to ground source or geothermal heat pumps, I just want you to know that that can provide your home hot water. And there's sort of two flavors of how to do that. The one on the left is the water furnace, or there's other brands that are similar, a standalone hot water heat pump. And that takes water from the ground from your um, ground loop for your geothermal heat system and puts it into a separate heat pump that just heats your home hot water. And it provides all the hot water you need for your house. There's also another option where you have a, on the right hand side, this person has, um, this is a house in Newfield. The gentleman is standing putting his hand on his heat pump unit that um, blows hot, forced hot air into his house. But the, the disembodied arm in the front of the picture is resting on a hot water heater. So that it takes the excess hot water from a heat pump system that to heat your house and heats it um, in a tank but it's already preheated so um, these the systems on the left are much more difficult to install they take two guys two days to install and they are much more expensive but once you have that installed your hot water basically is free for life it's almost costing you nothing to run that system the ones on the right are easier to install and cheaper but they're not quite as efficient, so you're um, going to be spending a little bit more. They're still very efficient, though, so those are two good options. If you are thinking about installing a ground source heat pump for your heat and air conditioning, that is definitely the way to go. However, for the rest of the talk, we're going to talk about air source heat pump water heaters, which are a standalone unit um, that anybody well, maybe not anybody, but that almost anybody could use in their home. So what you're looking at, this little um, robot looking guy on, my, on the screen, the bottom part of that is the, is the sort of water tank and the top part is the little heat pump. These um, units provide reliable hot water from your home. They're two to three times more efficient than um, the water heater that you probably have now. Um, and they're very inexpensive to operate. So that will reduce your greenhouse gas emissions um, from, your, from your home and um, 
and provide combustion free hot water in, in your house. So where can they be installed? Remember I said not anybody can do one. You have to have a good spot for one of these guys. They're best situated in a semi-conditioned basement, which means that um, it's, uh, it's gonna be between 40 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit in your basement. You don't want it to be too cold because they need to take the heat out of the air to work. Um, they are taller because the, the pump I mean, the heat pump on the top adds to the height. This is about the size of your regular water heater tank, and this is standing on top. So if you have a really um, short basement, that might not work for you. Um, you also need clearance around it because the air needs to circulate around the heat pump. Um, and it's gonna, when you're running this thing, it's gonna slightly cool and dehumidify the space around it. So, um, you're gonna to have to run your heating system a little bit, tiny bit more to make up for that temperature differential. Um, installing these is pretty straightforward. It's the heat pump unit is completely, completely enclosed and it comes all set up with the refrigeration. So it's the installation is just a plumbing and electrical job, just like almost any other um, water heater. So how do they work? Well, everybody on this call has a heat pump in their house that works very, very well. It's called your refrigerator. It takes, um, it runs a refrigerant loop, um, making the inside of your refrigerator cold and the outside and the back, if you've ever felt the back of your refrigerator, it's quite hot because it's expelling the hot air. So, um, Heat pumps, whether they're a heat pump that heats your house or whether a heat pump that heats your water operate on the same principle. Inside these loops is a refrigerant chemical. Um, it's a chemical that you can compress and evaporate quite easily. And that, that phase change of the refrigerant chemical is what helps to absorb or expel heat as needed. Um, so in your heat pump here, you've got the cold air, cold water, excuse me, coming in, goes through the refrigerant cycle, goes down into the tank of water, and this is hot refrigerant in these little tubes, right? And that's heating up your water in your tank. There's also a conventional um, heating coil to, to sort of cycle on and off to keep um, that water at the temperature that you need it. And then just like your other hot water tank, you're going to get hot water out. So that's basically how that guy works. So what is the efficiency of one of these standalone hot water heaters and how does it compare to maybe other water heaters? This um, article came out last month in Clean Technica and it's showing how much more efficient a heat pump water heater is, uh, an air source heat pump water heater, than even a solar hot water heater an, or um, instant or on-demand hot water heater that are considered extremely efficient hot water heaters. Um, I would guess that this, these data are not for New York. I think the number's a little lower here. When it's cold, um, it's gonna be a little less, quite a bit less efficient. Uh, on a day like today, this, these hot water heaters will run very efficiently because the air around them is quite warm already. But as you all know, uh, we probably have a lot more cold days than hot days here in this part of the state. Okay, so how much does it cost to run this guy and what's the payback? Um, these numbers were calculated for us by NYSERDA. They are um, fairly conservative numbers. So I think um, they're comparing a heat pump water heater, a 50 gallon heat pump water heater to an oil system. And um, as you can see, running the, the, an oil boiler for your hot water would be, for this case, $556 a year, but the heat pump water heater would be under $200. You're gonna add $5 for heating up that space. That's the, the energy that the heat pump is taking out of the air, making your basement colder so you're heating system has to work a little harder. And the estimated savings in one year is uh, $363, which they calculate the payback period for the cost of this water heater to be three years and five months. So that's not too bad. 
And over the lifetime of the water heater, um, $3,500 in savings. I guess that's if the water heater lives about 10 years. Um, I'm sure they can live longer than 10 years, but um, I guess we can't promise that. Um, that's the assumption that they made when they, when they did this estimate. So after three years and five months, um, if you were running an oil boiler, you would and you converted to one of these heat pumps, like some of our examples that our installers have given us on a recent webinars, um, you'll see that this system would pay for itself quite quickly and you'd be saving money after that. So um, when, when our installer partners um, apply to be part of the Heat Smart Tompkins program, we ask them to give us their model numbers of the equipment that they wanna install and the prices. So this is showing 80 gallon and 50 gallon heat pump water heaters. Um, the brands, the price in that's not bolded is before the rebate from NYSEG and the bold price is the price after the rebate from NYSEG. So um, you're looking at um, about $2,000 up to almost $3,000 depending on the size and the type of water heater. And then um, we have some different prices for annual maintenance contracts. Um, so that's just a across the board comparison. And you can ask the installers the difference between the AO Smith Voltex and the state HPX 50 or HPX 80, because I actually don't really know the difference. But what I will tell you is that all the installers in our program are required to offer the highest level the highest quality most efficient heat pumps that are made on the market so these this is the high end this is the very best that is made and the most efficient okay so what if that's just out of your price range even if it pays for itself well we are very lucky to be partnering with the finger lakes climate fund um, and they have gotten a we have gotten, HeatSmart has gotten a grant through NYSERDA that the Finger Lakes, that, that Sustainable Tompkins and the Finger Lakes Climate Fund are um, administering that is helping lower and moderate income people to buy um, heat pumps and heat pump water heaters at greatly reduced prices. So let's take a look at that real quick. So who qualifies as low to moderate income? That depends on your household size and your income. So here's a chart. As you can see, like I have a friend who qualifies, um, even though they are a full-time tenured teacher at Ithaca High School, they have three kids. Um, so they are under this 85,344, so they would qualify. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. How did that happen? Now I have to make that go away. Help. All right. I'm going to have to exit this once again. I apologize, folks. That's very irritating. Um, hold on. I'm having the worst technology day ever. Okay. So just to share it again. Low to moderate income levels they change by county so if you are in central new york um our list oh, there we go. of what the low to moderate income thresholds are is on the heat smart cny website so these are the tompkins numbers and um you can look at the heat smart cny website for uh the other counties in central new york i think ours are a tiny bit higher than yours um lindsay i think is what i remember to be yep, just correct but they're pretty similar yeah for one household in onondaga county it's forty four thousand five hundred. yeah so here's the exciting slide for if you are lower moderate income qualified or anybody you know who needs a new water heater or just wants one because they want something more efficient you can take the full cost of that water heater and get from New York State an assisted home performance grant you can get from heat smart uh, a low to moderate income grant. And Lindsay told me that the central New York grant is actually $350, not $300. So now I'm jealous. Um, in addition, you may qualify for a Finger Lakes Climate Fund grant through, the, um, through that offset program that I'm gonna explain in a minute. And the new NYSEG rebate is $700. Previously, um, there was a rebate for $500. So you can take the cost of that 
equipment all the way down to um, $200 or at least under $500. So you're looking at um, something that is much higher quality, cheaper to operate, and um, then cheaper than a conventional water heater by the time you're all at the end of the day, which is super, super exciting. And, but wait, there's more. This just in, because of the um, setbacks to the economy because of COVID, uh, NYSERDA is offering through the Green Job Screen New York program, 0% financing, loans of up to $25,000. You can borrow for five, 10 or 15 year periods. Uh, this can be for your house, a small company, a nonprofit, and this can be used for um, energy efficiency improvements, renewable energy systems, including heat pumps, including insulation, air sealing. And if you needed to borrow money to buy um, a water heater, um, they would qualify as well. So we're almost at the end of my presentation. Um, the important thing that all the heat smart programs want you to know is that um, the way for you to start a relationship with us is to enroll on our website. It, means fill out a short survey, tell us a little bit about your heating system, choose what installers you would like to work with from our installer partners, and um, they will um, send you, um, they will either remotely work with you or come to your home if that's comfortable for you. They have um, safety protocols for COVID set up. All of our partners, um, employees are trained to follow very strict um, safety protocols. And they will give you a proposal, whether it's for your heating system, whether it's for insulation, um, whether it's for um, solar in some cases, and whether it's for a hot water heater. And there's no obligation to you to be a part of this program and to get these assessments. This is um, a free service because we uh, really strongly believe in, the, um, in promoting these programs. Um, for you. So I want to now introduce you to our installer partners. We have four. Two of our installer partners, um, Daily Geothermal and NP Environmental, are heat pump specialists. They do heat pumps for heating and cooling. They do um, heat pump water heaters, um, but they do not do insulation and air sealing. Our other two um, installer partners are Halco and Snug Planet, and they do insulation, air sealing, heat pumps, um, and more. So um, there are different kinds of companies. They are all um, excellent and I'll let them speak for themselves. Let me see what my next slide is. Oh, just thank you for listening. I'm going to introduce, I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. That's a relief. And um, I'm going to ask our installer partners to just quickly say hello to you and introduce themselves, um, starting today with Halco. Hal, is it going to be you or Matt speaking? I'm guessing Matt is going to say hello for Halco, right? Matt? I usually get volunteered, yes. Are you there? Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, take can it away. I can hear you. Can you okay, yes. so we're good. You can hear me, yes? Okay. We can hear you, Matt. Okay, all right, good deal. Um, <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Matt Dennis. With Halco. Okay. Uh, my name is Matt Dennis with Halco Energy. Um, uh, tell you just a quick little bit about Halco. We, we are a whole performance uh, home contractor. So everything that the Heat Smart program is promoting uh, is everything that we do from uh, all sorts of uh, heat pump options, air sealing, uh, insulation, and then a, a litany of other services. Um, we've been in business for 36 years. Uh, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year uh, with 120 people on staff. So anytime you need anything, it's a simple phone call. So half of that's our service department. So if you call us at 2 a.m. on Sunday, we answer the phone every time. Um, and uh, just you know, you know, really what we're we're going for is to to be able to to offer you a, a whole line of services. So any issues you might have in your home, we can take care of. 
um, and uh, sort of just be that one-stop shop for you. So uh, we're, we aim to have customers for life um, and we've got many, many customers that have been with us a very long time. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so uh, we're, we're here for you. We're happy to help. Um, happy to answer any questions you got. Um, and um, thanks for, for being here and, and tell your friends. Try to stay cool. Great, thanks, Matt, so much. And I guess we're trying. Um, and next, I'll call on Elizabeth Herod of Snug Planet. Hi, everybody. <coughs> I'm Elizabeth Herod, and my husband John started. Are you here, Elizabeth? There you are. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Yeah. Okay. Um, my husband and I moved to Tompkins County in 2006 um, in order to start Snug Planet, and we started it out of our house. This was the office, which has changed a lot, but used to be the office for the company in our house in downtown Ithaca. And got to remember, I had little kids at the time, so I'm inviting my team into my house. They had keys to our house, and they're going to be around my kids and my things, and then I could send them out to other people's houses. And so that's how much I trusted them and how carefully I hired them. And um, I still hire to that standard, even though we have a nice shop up on 79. So we're no longer in the house. We've grown. We're about um, maybe 20 people now. And, but I still hire to that level. I, I care a lot about the people who live in the homes that we work in and their houses and their belongings and their children. So I would just say that we started the company to be a very mission driven company. Uh, and our mission is to save energies, reduce energy use in homes in ways that make sense for people in the planet. And that, that mission really guides all of our decision making. We're focused on quality and attention to detail, customer care. Um, those of you who know Ithaca know it's a very small town. So if I don't make every customer very, very happy, I'll hear about it very, very quickly. Even in these distance times, people find ways. So, you know, customer satisfaction and customer care and following up with customers and servicing the systems that we install, um, making sure that everything's running quickly. Um, is very important to us. So we take a lot of time and care to properly size uh, heating systems and make, you know, the best recommendation that we can for everyone. If, if we recommend it, it makes sense. It makes sense for people. It makes sense for the planet. It makes sense for your wallet. It makes sense for your comfort. It makes sense for your durability. And if it didn't, we wouldn't be recommending it. So I'll stop there and just say that um, Heat pump water heaters are sometimes the last thing that you want to change out to get off fossil fuel. So at my house, for example, everything runs on electricity. It's all solar. And the last little step we're going to do very soon, as soon as the 0% financing comes on, is to get a heat pump water heater in our basement so then we can rip out the gas meter and not pay that surcharge every month and just really make that symbolic and real uh, commitment to being fossil fuel free and net zero house. So that's really important to us and appreciate being a part of HeatSmart. This is our third time around, I think. And glad you're here. Go enroll as soon as this meeting is over. It's easy and fun. And you'll say, yay, I'm a part of making the planet a better place, even just by enrolling, it helps. And um, tell your friends, like Matt said. Thank you for coming tonight. Thanks so much, Elizabeth. I am calling next on our newest installer partner, who is Ryan Daly of Daly Geothermal, or Daly Electric. Company has two names. They're both good. Yeah, it's, right, makes no sense. Uh, my name's Ryan, hi everybody. Uh, my dad started our business uh, back in the early 1990s. I took it over from 2007. We're located up in Penian. Uh, we mostly do uh, geothermal installations, uh, air source heat pump, and a residential electric. Uh, we have 20 employees and uh, we, my, my father still works for the business. My wife runs our office pretty much Mostly everybody in our family still works for the business. And we uh, became partners down in, in Binghamton with their Heat Smart program a couple of years ago when they started that. And we're fortunate enough to get involved with the Tompkins County this year. So it's uh, been very good so far and hopefully uh, continues on. Thanks, Ryan. And so um, last but not least, Kevin from NP Environmental, go ahead and say hi. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kevin. I'm with NP Environmental. Uh, I'm a field engineer for them. Um, NP is a design build sustainable technology company. We've been around since 2004. Uh, we've been with Heat Smart since the beginning. Um, 
and we specialize in anything heat pumps, uh, ground source, air source, um, air source hot water heaters. Uh, we install the AO Smiths, like you saw on Lisa's slide. Um, we also can provide ventilation and indoor air quality systems. Um, and really, we seek any building with a demand of, you know, any temperature between 35 and 135 degrees, uh, the capacity for a heat pump. And we really specialize in finding ways to apply that heat pump technology uh, to your needs and special tailoring that technology to meet those demands. Um, and we always look forward to doing it. Uh, you know, we're driven by the technology, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, 200, 300, 400 percent efficiency. Uh, that's what fires us up. Um, and that's why, you know, we're big advocates and want to put it in, you know, any house, any building we can. Um, so thank you all for coming out tonight. Um, and I look forward to answering any questions.